Summer Forey, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man o international. Come on, come on, come on. Yan ang sa inyo because here's a countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. Well, we're going to give you all the latest, guys, with today's number 10. Well, are you wondering after Encanto what Lin-Manuel Miranda is up to? He is set to star in the Percy Jackson series. <laughs> Lin-Manuel Miranda is set to play as Hermes. As in hindi yung baga. <laughs> Hermes ba, Hermes ba to? Di na natin ala. Dahil sa sobrang daming nagpa-follow sa luxury brand na yon. But anyway, the messenger god, he's gonna be Hermes. Hermes. The messenger god in Percy Jackson series and his character has strained relationship with son Luke, who is a demigod like Percy. That's according to Deadline. Well, it's so nice to see him play a god, right? Anyway, watch how he will be. Uh, how, how he will tackle his relationship with his son. Lin Manuel is a Tony Emmy and Grammy winner. He's known for Hamilton and In the Nights. And of course, Encanto. <laughs> the Iron Claw. Zach Afron plays a wrestler there. As seen as the bulky wrestler Golden Warrior Kevin Von Erich in the first look for the Iron Claw. The film is about the Von Erich family considered as dynasty in wrestling industry. Zach tried online after the look reveal wherein he looked like her or he man to me. The Iron Claw is set to be released under 20, well, in 2023 under A24. <laughs> We do know that the Avatar franchise is really long. So the question is now, is James Cameron really cutting it short? <laughs> well, that's what he said. He's prepared to cut the Avatar franchise short if the sequel of the third part underperform in the box office. So in an interview with several entertainment websites, James said that he'll pass the baton to a new director for the fourth and fifth part, if ever. <laughs> Well, the question is, will Way of the Water surpass the success of Avatar, which is included in the top crossing films of all time? That is the question. Gucci, Gucci, Prada. Avatar Way of the Water will be out in the Philippines soon. We will be attending the press conference and we're, we're going to give you live what Kate Winslet and the cast members will say about it. Wow, Daniel Kaluuya, he's joining Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. Oh, di ba, bonggang bonga? That's what's gonna happen. So he has been cast of the vo one of the voice actors of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, a sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> if you haven't seen that yet, for some reason, guys, it's such a good animation. The plot details are still being kept under wraps, but Daniel will voice Hubert Hovey. He will be joining the other cast, including Shamik Moore and Haley Steinfeld. Daniel was recently part of Nope and won Best Supporting Actor at the Oscars for Judas and the Black Messiah. <laughs> Well, we're going to give you some music news as Wallows announce. Tell me that it's over tour is now in Manila. Yes. Mapapanood natin dito ang tell me that it's over tour. Yeah. And it kicks, uh, Wallows kicked off the tell me that it's over tour in April 2022. Sold out for the North American leg that the followed by sold out shows in Australia and New Zealand this November. But before heading to Asia, the band will stop hit the road in the UK, Europe, starting January 2023 for their first trip to Asia. Wallows tell, tell me that it's over tour. We'll have Singapore, Manila, Bangkok, Seoul, Tokyo, well, the main Asian markets to be announced soon. Wallows is an American alternative rock band based in Los Angeles. Yes. So I'm sure maraming marami talaga mag but anyway, we're halfway on the show. Before we move on, we just want to say... Happy, happy birthday, Von Villanario. Hindi yeah. nagpaparamdam kahapon. Nakita ko sa Wakanda forever. Premiere night. Nag-isa. Birthday niya pala. Happy birthday, Von. All right, for 4.45 p.m. on One News, we catch our replays on Radio 592.3 News FM and our YouTube pages. And halfway on the show, this is our topic. 
All right, Wax Applied Sound Production debuts Dolby Atmos Home Entertainment Certified Studio in the Philippines. Bing, bing, bing. Well, eto siya ha. It was awarded the much coveted Home Entertainment Studio Certification. Para nakakabudol to, guys. At the launch of the first and only certified Dolby Atmos Home Entertainment Studio in the country, guests were shown the behind the scenes of sound production and the tools necessary to generate, edit, and mix and master world-class quality sounds. Wow. Well, if you want that in your home, Waxified got it for you. The event was graced by several celebra celebrities. If you want to experience Dolby Atmos sound, just visit the social media pages for more information. <laughs> Yes, it's yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sassy Pressman is the Hinebra's 2023 calendar girl. I love the curves and all in this lady as she was officially announced a major in a major event yesterday that she is a calendar girl of Hinebra. In the recent media launch, Yassi proved that she deserved the project as she hit the stage with her moves. She followed the footsteps of previous models. Like Chief Lomino, Solen Yusuf, Theo Wurzbach, and Marian Rivera. <laughs> All right, so we were at the Makanda Forever premiere last night. Thank you so much, Marvel Philippines, for having us. I bumped into Robbie Domingo, the very hot, newly engaged guy. He's off the market. <laughs> he did share the engagement story and reacted on Zena Barake's comment. And now uh, let's go first to his. Uh, proposal in Shibuya Crossing that he did for partner Mikey Pineda. We had an interview with him in a recent premiere of Black Panther Wakanda Forever, as I said, and he did share details of the engagement. He's on a high! Oh. <laughs> he also shared how he did forgive Zainab, or there was, was there forgiving necessary after, well, if you don't know Zainab, she is a vlogger, guys. Um, uh, alam mo naman natin na napaka big personality ng mga online person people, di ba? Para they have their own world. And yes, she made some remarks about the actor or the actor host after uh, she said that Robbie had no market. And, and that was a leaked message. Uh, anyway, guys, here's what he said about taking the higher road. Kudos to you, Robbie. Ako, unang -una sa lahat, there is no problem between Zainab and me because when she reached out, we messaged each other. Ako, no problem because I, I know where she's coming from, I know the backstory, I know the whole story. And, and there's nothing na para sabihin ko na you're forgiven because una -una, there was no issue. After that, nakabook pa ng two projects si Robby, di ba? Antayin nyo siya sa ABS-CBN. Congrats! <laughs> And now let's talk about Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, which opened in Philippine cinemas. The sequel to the hit and critically acclaimed Black Panther is officially here today. The film stars Ladesha Wright, Lupita Nyong'o, Danai Gurira, Winston Duke, Angela Bassett, Tinoch Huerta Mejia, Dominic Thorne, Micaela Coel, Alex Livinoli, and Mabel Cadena, among others. And I must say, ding, ding. guys... Ito na yung pinakamagandang Marvel film na napanood ko this year, I must say. It's my favorite because of the level up action scenes. Pwede pa pala yun, di ba? Tapos yun, yung storyline niya talagang total badass yung mga women. The the costume design was top notch. Uh, even the antagonists were really good. They were strong. Usually yung naging kasalanan ng mga comic films, eh, parang hindi ganun kalakas yung mga antagonists nila. Ito, Malakas yung antagonist din. Pero, yun nga, there are some questions left to be answered. So, we don't want to spoil that must-watch Marvel film, but it's out in cinemas today. Watch a story and plot thicken and catch it in cinemas. Another Marvel star taking the spotlight, it's Chris Evans, and he is hailed as the people's sexiest man alive. <laughs> Yes, who will rebut? We all agree that Chris gets the title. Ding, ding, ding. From the onset of his career back in the early 2000s, Chris landed plum roles in different superhero and action movies like Fantastic Four, Snowpiercer, Knives Out, even uh, really teen flicks that, well, won't really give you a break. But of course, he became more well-loved when he joined the, Capitals, the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Captain America. And he's so hot. 
Congrats, Chris. Gusto ko he's so hot. Anong klaseng ano yun? Yun lang yung ano yun, no? Need I say more? Parang ganon. But anyway, guys, yan ang ating top 10 for today. Siyempre, di ba? Ayun natin. Aksay ng oras ng isa't isa. Talagang i-enjoy natin na magkakasama tayo dito. But it's 46 days to go before Christmas. Gising, gising. That's it. Let's continue to stay safe from COVID-19. COVID is still here. That's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, mga kapatid. Baklis na mga countdown. Mondays or Fridays, 4.45. One news with replays. At 1PH and Radio 592.3 News FM. I'm MJ Marfuri. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Celebrity Top 10. <laughs> Gusto pa kong mahabot. Nag-isa pang countdown. Dapat ito na yun eh.